Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit of basic cruelty-free knowledge and February 2012 monthly favorites. Now, if I, uh, going into cruelty-free knowledge, it's a lot of um, work and it can take a lot of videos and a lot of spin-off videos. So I'm just going to cover a few basics before we get started. Now, to get started, um, there have been a lot of company buyouts uh, in this past year, past February. I know companies aren't doing so well with the economy not being at its best right now. So unfortunately, there's been an, some buyouts. And my ultimate resource guide um, for finding these things out is actually leavingbunny.com. I feel that because they, they license all the brands that go on there with the cruelty-free Leaping Bunny and there's always new companies pending to go on Leaping Bunny, that they're my ultimate resource guide. And they always get to the bottom of which companies are truly cruelty-free. They always state which parent companies test. So I truly love leavingbunny.com. Um, when I go to find out which companies are um, have vegan items, which companies have only cruelty-free items, which products are vegan, which products are paraben-free, gluten-free, nut-free, and all that other great stuff, fragrance-free, is happycow.net. And I go research um, the byproducts that might be in the cosmetic so that I can list them in the bottom bar which ones are X, Y, and Z for you guys who are trying to shop a certain way or another. So, anyways, um, I take... Uh, the PETA list with a grain of salt because sometimes they're not always accurate and they don't always list parent companies. So I go to leapingbunny.com um, personally, that's my favorite choice. So anyways, this month I also discovered a lot of really cool vegan shops for you. So I'm kind of going to go over these in my monthly favorites and I'll have links in the bottom bar. So you can go ahead and check those out if you are interested. Now even if you're not um, a person who shops 100% cruelty free, a person who shops vegan, that's ultimately your choice how you want to shop. Um, but I do really love these products. I think they're healthy, good for you products and they're great cosmetics. I don't like gimmicky products. It's another reason why I love to shop cruelty free because I find that a lot of cruelty free products don't really present gimmicks. They present great healthy cosmetics, great colors, things that work really well and are really good for your skin. Personally, my skin thanks me for shopping cruelty free. So that's a huge reason why I love to do it. Um, pertains to health and be uh, not only health but beauty for me as well. So I'm going to go into my favorites and cover some really cool shops that I've discovered this past month. Now at the top of my list is the 100% pure um, moisturizer. You could use this for night or day and this is the mint white tea moisturizer and this is great for normal to oily skin and it is 100% pure. I've never gotten a breakout from it. The one for dry skin is the jasmine green tea. Um, so absolutely love this. And you can get this on 100%pure.com, veganbeauty.com, or my favorite new shop I discovered this past month, thanks to Veggie Beauty and a couple people on Facebook, um, whiterabbitbeauty.com. What I love about whiterabbitbeauty.com is they have a whole bunch of 100% pure products, Zuzulux products, and that's only just a few of the brands, they, or a couple of brands that care. They have so many more. They have Gabrielle Cosmetics. Uh, Alba, a whole bunch of others. So what happens on whiterabbitbeauty.com when you make a purchase? You can also buy samples there, that's really cool. Um, but a portion of what you buy goes to the charity of your choice, whether it's to help stop the brutality in factory farmings or to save furry friends, and that's anything from rabbits to cats to dogs. You could donate to cats specifically, uh, dogs, all that great stuff. I've already donated to help stop the brutality in factory farming, as well as um, to help uh, things furry friends. So yeah, I absolutely love this product. Next thing on my list is in the spring and summer months, I go to a much more sheer coverage foundation um, or tinted moisturizer. So I'm back down to this again, and this is the Urban Decay Urban Defense Tinted Moisturizer. And yes, this is the older packaging. I have quite a few backups of this still. And this is my spring and summer color, which is a medium to light tan um, color. And it's very yellow based. So just a side note, if you have no yellow undertones in your skin, you're very pink, you're very porcelain, I do not recommend this as a tinted moisturizer. When I said it was the last color, um, or the, sorry, the first color that they had, it's very yellow, very tan. So I would only get this if you are kind of like yellow, medium tan, possibly. So I'd probably test it in the store first if you can. I got this on Outlook, which is of course another great site we all know about. 
Um, and of course the new packaging has a lot more um, product. As far as lip care uh, goes, I really love the Hara Lip Butter. I got this in grapefruit. It leaves a nice corally tint. Um, but it's also very moisturizing. You don't have to use it as a tinted lip balm. You could just use it before and then pat it off if you don't want the color. Um, it tastes just like grapefruit. Um, this is raw and organic, so it has vitamin C in it as well. I got this off of veganbeauty.com, but you can buy this directly from Hurrah. Another item I really like is the Beauty Wise, that's the name of the brand, and this is the translucent finishing powder, and it just, it works It's really well just to set, you know, concealer under your eyes, so I really love that, and it's just a basic matte powder. It's very affordable. I believe this only cost me $10. comes in a very tiny, tight jar, but it has a whole four grams in there, and I got this at holisticbeauty.net. Now I did purchase this from Veggie Beauty's uh, shop on Artfire and I have purchased from her before. Um, I have swapped with her as well, not sponsored or affiliated at all. But this is the Pumpkin and Poppy Cosmetics Full Coverage Foundation. I don't know if the labels change, this is her initial labeling. But um, I love Cashew because it fits me even if I'm a little tan or a little more pale. Her colors are pretty neutral that way. This is $15 for I believe... Uh, eight to, either 8 to 10 grams of face product. It's a little on the dry side so I choose to use it as a sitting powder on my tinted moisturizer because I like to wear cream blushes um, but if you're somebody who um, just uses mineral foundation alone I think you'll like this because it's very matte and full coverage. The next few uh, products I like are the Too Faced Size Queen Mascara and Hourglass Film Noir Lash Lacquer Combination. It makes your lashes very long. I'm wearing it now. Now, um, Too Faced is a PETA business friend, but I have emailed Too Faced directly to confirm um, that they are cruelty-free. They sent me a whole vegan list and a statement on their fact that they're cruelty-free. Now, uh, words I look for in cruelty-free statements via emails are um, we do not finish... We do not test the finished product on animals. That's generally a red flag that the ingredients were tested up to the final stages of the product being produced. And um, also, oh yeah, we don't touch or we don't hurt furry friends. We love animals. That's kind of not really a factual statement, especially if you're not going to share um, a spreadsheet or facts on your ingredients. Also companies who refuse to give out any information and say, oh, that's confidential, uh, may not be cruelty free. So that's kind of my guideline. Uh, I have a lot of faith in Hourglass Lash Lacquer. Once again, they're a PETA business friend, but I have emailed them directly. They have sent me a cruelty free list. They have gluten free products, paraben free products, vegan products, and cruelty free products, all of which are listed on their website. So I absolutely love that. And they sell all synthetic Taclon brushes. While they're not the most inexpensive brand, if you're looking for a premium line that does sell cruelty free cosmetics, I would go for Hourglass. Now, the way brushes go from any brush company, most brush companies sell either a line of vegan brushes or a line of uh, natural hair brushes. Very few brush companies now have all vegan brushes. I just reviewed the Parowet Professional brushes, which are all vegan. I'll put a link for those in the bottom bar um, as well. I really did enjoy these, but I never feature products that were sent to me in favorites videos. Uh, I would, I would, I'd go for it, but I know not everybody agrees with that. These were really good, by the way. They're all vegan. I know Cosette is an all-vegan company. I haven't checked them out, so I can't recommend them just yet. But Sigma does have an all-vegan line of brushes, which I can recommend for you, which I really love. Just got through trying these. I'm going to post my review shortly. These are great, great brushes. And I know the Mrs. Bunny set is no longer available, but Mr. Bunny is, and it's the exact same set. This is the essential set. You could also get the Travel, which is smaller. Uh, I also really love Delium Tools Still, I, I absolutely love uh, collecting brushes, obtaining brushes. Um, I only buy all vegan brushes or get all vegan brushes. Um, Dime Tools has sent me some things in the past, but I have purchased some things. This was not sent to me for free. This, um, this has been purchased. I recently went back to the CVS Makeup Remover Wipes. CVS carries, um, or their brand is cruelty free. Um, I don't love their makeup remover wipes. They, do, they don't love that. I don't think they do the job. That's about it. They don't do the job. Um, so I prefer to take my business to CVS because they're not um, what you would refer to as a monster chain store. But um, 
I really love the Yes to Cucumbers. I went back to these. These remove my makeup better than the CVS brand. That's just my personal opinion. Now, it may not remove um, all your waterproof makeup. You may have to take your your you know a skincare routine it's up to you what you want to do this personally for me does remove waterproof makeup I have no issues with it my under my eyes is very sensitive um, I can't use a lot of makeup removers to be very honest so this is great for me because it's very soft and gentle I'm about to try the blueberry ones um, I'm gonna get the tomato ones soon but I really love the cucumber ones and these are a uh, Best of Beauty Allure 2011 winner. I know some people have said that these are overrated makeup remover wipes. If you'd like to try them um, so you don't have any regrets, I'd get the travel pack. But I really recommend them personally because I they work for me. Now because I keep sharing only basic supplies with you guys, I'm sure some of you guys would like to know what my color cosmetic favorites are. And they are the Urban Decay Glide On Cheek Tints which I absolutely love and I don't care what color you like, what you want. Crush is obviously a personal favorite because I use this one pretty religiously and it's just a watermelony red color which I tend to love watermelony reds. Um, but they all work the same so just get the color you like. Absolutely love them and leave a sheer glow on the skin. They're vegan, every color is. So I personally really like them. I've never experienced a breakout with them. I think because they're they're not all greasy and oily. They won't glide around on oily skin. So I really like those. My other favorites are the Amazonian clay blushes. I love the new shimmer line. I know some people said it, it does not work for them. It works for me. I like them. I'm wearing frisky right now. Absolutely love these blushes. This is described as a bright vivid coral. It's kind of a red to me. It's kind of a shimmer version of Healthy Beauty, which is a matte red. Absolutely love these. These um, these have the Leaving Bunny on them. They're paraben free, um, methyl paraben free, mineral oil free, phthalate free, cruelty free. So I absolutely love these blushes. I know that they're not the cheapest blushes on the market, but a little pigment goes a long way, so they're going to last you forever. So I sincerely recommend these to give you a nice glow if you're interested in this one. This one is a fa old favorite of mine. This one is Tipsy from the original line. Last but certainly not the very least, uh, Wet n Wild Mega Last. These recently got the bunny on them. Love that. I already knew that they were cruelty free, but we were just waiting for that bunny to get slapped on them. And I absolutely love these. I know the Wet n Wild Mega Lasts come in a couple different bottles. I have no idea why they do that. I'm going to grab this one over here because I also really love this color. I'm going to showcase for you my four favorite colors. Refreshment, I love, or I Need a Refreshment 218A. This is so gorgeous. The one I'm wearing right now is 209C Candylicious. These are all cream finished, the ones I'm showing. The only one that's not cream finish is Disturbia. And that's still really pretty though. Um, I also really love Through the Grapevine 208B. Uh, the Pro Wide Brush, I personally really like. Not everyone loves it, but it, it, it does a really clean job. And I've worn this already for four days with no chips. Um, this one I love with a disclaimer, 213C on a trip. Um, this is a little bit finicky to apply, but I really love the color. This one skids, so you do need a couple coats. Aside from it going on a bit uneven, I really love it. So, yeah. Alright, so that concludes my February 2012 monthly favorites. I hope that you gain some knowledge if you want to use it. And um, so that's about it. I hope you enjoyed and thanks so much for watching.